What's going on guys? Johnny aka Tropical Fish Guy. Today we are going to uh, do something a little bit different. It's something I haven't tried before. Um, it's water change day. You can see I've done water changes on my my tanks about 25%. Uh, now this isn't the different thing. Of course we do water change all the time. Uh, did a big one on this tank. But today I am going to try to get rid of algae in a very interesting, different way, okay? Uh, you can see, I'll show you in this one tank where algae has gotten grossly out of hand. So you can see here that the, in this tank the algae is, I mean, it's good for like if you have shrimps or algae eating, um, fish but in this tank it's just guppies and a beta so I moved these plants here from this tank over here which does have the cherry shrimp and stuff but in this tank here I want to kind of get rid of this but uh, keep in mind algae is really a good thing it's just unsightly for us aquarium owners uh, so a balance of uh, algae is what we're striving for and uh, the real way to do this, the real way to uh, cut down algae is to cut down on your light, uh, is to uh, fertilize less, is to get water flow, uh, good water flow, and um, do proper water changes. But in this case, if the algae is out of hand, we're going to go to some more drastic measures. Uh, and we're going to shoot it out with the secret weapon. Hydrogen peroxide. Now, uh, this is controversial, so you guys be the judge. I'm going to try it on some of these plants, and then you tell me, uh, leave a comment, and see how the uh, how it works. So, uh, first, we're not going to ever shoot it directly into the tank unless you got it uh, on rocks and stuff. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to yank some of these plants out, and uh, let's see what I might do. Where am I going to put that? I'm going to yank some of these plants out, put it in a little um, container, specimen container, and then just uh, put that hydrogen peroxide in a little spray bottle here. And uh, spray the algae. I will show you how to do that. So let's fill up the... Uh, let's move the computer. And let's fill up, let's move it better, and let's fill up the spray bottle with the hydrogen peroxide. Alright, so I've got the uh, spray bottle filled up with the 3% solution of the hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to, okay, so keep an eye on these plants here. Now first I'm going to take this one. Um, Alright, so I'm going to yank this plant right here out. Making sure, and look how caked with algae that is. Make sure I don't break it. I'll stick it in this bucket here. I know it's hard to see, black on black. I'm going to spread it around so where I can see the algae. I'm gonna take my sprayer and we'll spray it. Ugh, I need a direct stream. There we go. I'm gonna spray it real good. Okay. I'm gonna take this one out. This one's caked pretty good too. Look at that. Oh man. Ah, ah, serious there. And I might as well take this one out here too. This one out here is really, that's a different plant, huh? Look at that. All right, so I got three plants. You know what? And then I'm going to leave this one in here as a control. So we're going to leave that one in there. 
and I'm gonna probably uh, stick it between rock or something to make it look pretty. I don't know, but uh, I needed to. I should have. So. I am going to spray these plants with this hydrogen peroxide and get them real good. Have I got them good enough? I'm gonna get them extra good. Alright. Good measure, we'll swish them around. That's a lot of hydrogen peroxide in there. Spray them some more. Ooh, I got a good part right there. I mean, you know, hydrogen peroxide is pretty cheap. You can get it at any store, so I figure I don't need to give you a link for that. But uh, get you some, well maybe. We will test this out. I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes and then I'm gonna put it back in the aquarium. And after a couple of days or next day or tomorrow, I will show you what it looks like. So y'all saw it before and here in a couple of days, I'll show you after. So the cool thing is if you listen real close, can you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that, but there's like sizzling, like a steak. So it's definitely doing something. You know how like you put hydrogen peroxide on a cut or something and it sizzles and, and bubbles and stuff. That's what it's doing on this plant. Hopefully it doesn't kill the plant. We shall see. And I think before I put these plants back in the water. I'm going to rinse them off with uh, dechlorinated water just in case. Okay, so that step, let's see, I will do. I got a pond out there, and if y'all hadn't seen the pond video yet, I'll put the pond video up somewhere. It's just a mini pond, just a patio mini pond of 20 gallons or so, but I'll put that video up there. But in this video, anyway. Uh, man, I wish you could hear that. Can you hear it? If not, it's okay. Trust me, it sizzles like a steak. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dechlorinate. Well, I'm going to wait a few more minutes let the sizzle do its thing and then I'm gonna pour dechlorinated water and rinse it off I'm gonna stick it back in the fish tank all right so we can so that we can identify which plant is the control plant I'm going to just put one of these lead weights plant anchor weights onto this particular plant Let's see here so I'm gonna wrap this around this plant and I need two hands and I'll show you when I'm done. I wrapped that anchor around this plant and you can see that this plant, let's take a look at it. It does have quite a bit of the green algae. So we'll use that as a control plant. Um, lots of lots of algae. Okay, so now it's been about 10 minutes I'd say. And uh, I'm going to take these plants here that are soaking in that hydrogen peroxide and I'm going to put it and I'm going to dip them into fresh 
dechlorinated water, not pond water, not any other water. I just figure it's got to be a good experiment. So fresh dechlorinated water from the tap. This, these plants have been soaking here for about 10 minutes. I'm going to gently put them in here to get all that hydrogen peroxide out. Plant number two. And plant number three. So from initial look, looks, it doesn't look like it really did anything, but uh, we'll see. I'm going to let that sit for a couple minutes, and uh, so the hydrogen peroxide can kind of dilute and get off those plants before I stick them in my aquarium. All right, let that sit for a couple minutes. About another five minutes. All right, so that was five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take these plants out and stick them back into the aquarium. Let's see here. Initial look, there's no effect. Initial look, there's no effect. But we'll keep an eye on it for a couple of days. Initial look, no effect. And there's the control one right there. Lots of algae. These here, lots of algae. So these three plants here, hydrogen peroxide method test. Day zero, or I guess first day, no effect. 10 minutes sitting in a 3% hydrogen bath. But we'll see, we'll keep an eye on it and uh, keep you posted. I'm gonna go ahead and Fill this up with uh, fresh dechlorinated water, finish doing my water changes, and uh, keep you posted on the hydrogen peroxide test to get rid of the green algae, green hair algae. Cool, so that's the initial test on the green hair algae. We will get back t uh, in a couple of days, and uh, or tomorrow, and then the next day, and see... Um, see what uh, effects it has so give me a like comment subscribe please comment see if you've actually tried this before and what your results are um uh definitely like to know because that green algae is definitely a problem for everyone sorry about that background there the, left the light left the uh blinds open um and that definitely contributes to the algae yes i know but i do like to grow the algae in this tank here for the uh for the cherry shrimp because they love it they love it but i just want to do a test on this tank to see and i don't care if it grows there but i just want to do the test but anyways uh like comment subscribe uh thanks a lot for watching i really appreciate it, guys um as always happy fish keeping peace all right so a day after we did the uh hydrogen peroxide spray treatment on this algae, on these plants, a very interesting thing has occurred. Very interesting indeed. So the algae has turned red. Look at that. I mean, bright red. I mean, that's something that you would see in, in a person's, my wife's saying that if you put peroxide in someone's hair, dark hair, it would turn that red. So maybe we dyed. <laughs> we dyed the oh, algae. Kind of bleached it. We bleached it red, maybe. So bleaching the algae red. Let's keep an eye on it. Uh, you'll see this is a good example right here. And you can see all these leaves are red. That's pretty cool looking. I mean, and we'll keep an eye on it to see if they actually um, fall off, if the algae falls off, or if we just have red algae. Uh, so that one there too, that's a big one there. So, and that there, that's the third one. 
not as much red there maybe that was sticking out of the water or the peroxide but for sure this guy is what we want to look at look how red that thing is wow so we will look again tomorrow and keep updated on the effect of hydrogen peroxide on uh, dark green hair algae all right guys so two days this is two days after spraying the algae with the uh, hydrogen peroxide it is getting more red at the areas that were sprayed you can just uh, tell right there I mean that's pretty red right there pretty red right there um, so it seems like that the area that was affected um, that the area is affected Are getting more red so whether this eventually falls off or not we'll see um, but two days after spraying with hydrogen peroxide don't notice any of the um, algae actually falling off but they seem to be bleached red uh, so we will keep you informed. So this is the two days after spraying. You can say hi to the rosy red right there. You say uh, purplish red beta. He's cool. I don't know if he. There he goes. You can see that that bluish hue on him right there. Um, I need to rearrange this light maybe how I'm bring that light closer there we go that's better look at that huh isn't he nice beautiful beautiful fish and that's just the veil tail I got him for um, I think it was like five bucks or so five ninety nine whatever um, but he's a nice looking fish he's uh, pretty big he's happy in this 10 gallon tank but uh, we're trying to get rid of some algae get rid of some algae. it looks like it's actually growing more but here's the control and here's the sprayed but uh, this is the second day second day from being sprayed so we shall see I'll keep you informed well day three of after spraying the the algae if nothing else it looks real pretty it's nice and orange here um, big time orange uh, they don't seem to be falling off but you see this super duper orangey look here all over the uh, sprayed areas I mean it's big time big time orange we'll see if uh, see if it has any real effect of removing the algae after a few days but this is the third day after it's been sprayed so we will keep an eye on it and you can definitely tell it's very much more noticeable today uh, as far as the coloring is concerned but uh, there's Mr. Beta saying hi to us um, but uh, third day after spraying it very very colorful from dark red to light orange maybe in a day or two it'll come off this is the control one here uh, still a little bit of algae uh, looks like it's getting darker and stringier I think I'm gonna shut the light off for uh, I'm not gonna leave the light on as long but uh, I'm gonna keep it the same just so we have this experiment going on to see if the hydrogen peroxide actually has any effect on removing algae Thanks a lot for watching. Peace. So one full week later, we notice a very different change from the dark green hair algae. Uh, this turned from red to a beautiful orange to now a white. So basically what I believe has happened is that we all we did was we bleached the algae from this dark green to a white algae 
The algae does not seem to be dying off, but it just simply seems to be bleached and colored white. But we will see and keep you informed. One week later, the algae is white. White hair algae versus dark green hair algae. From the dark green to the red to the orange and now to the white. One week later. We will keep you informed. All right, well, it's been two weeks to the day, two weeks to the day, and you can actually, I'm seeing that the algae is actually going away some, I believe. I believe I can still see um, puffs of algae up there. Um, let me see, but... I'm actually believing that that the algae is going away. There's a little bit there. Let's see here. This is the second. You can see that there's some there, but it seems, I don't know if it's just that it's whiter or that it is I mean, the appearance itself, even if it is just clear algae, instead of the, that's the control one, okay, so that's, that's what it, all of it looked like, and then that's what it looks like now, so you can definitely tell, I'm thinking, I mean, you tell me what you guys think, uh, leave a comment below, two weeks to the day that we uh, sprayed the hydrogen peroxide on it. Um, it looks like it's working so it turned from like red orange orange uh, purp uh, not purple but uh, reddish orange to orange to white to clear maybe to coming off but uh, we will keep monitoring that was uh, week two week two to the day there is our control, so you can tell. I have been um, I have been leaving the light off longer, so the light has been shining less uh, on it. But you can tell that there's. I mean, it's the same as what's on this control. So the control uh, has some. It looks like they're sprouting some new stuff here, maybe because of the uh, light output that I've decreased. Um, but uh, still, there's our control and there's our sprayed. So you can, I mean, I'm pretty sure, I'm looking at it pretty close here. I'm pretty sure that it's coming off, but we will continue to monitor. And I've had, and I've added a few of these uh, feeder guppies here. And there's a cool, cool guy right there. Look at that. That came in as a feeder guppy. He's not re really a feeder guppy, but uh, he came in as a feeder guppy. That's cool. I mean, he looks like a, uh, maybe a, I guess he's a guppy. He looks kind of like a platy or a sword or some kind of, definitely some kind of live berry. So we're going to call him a feeder guppy. That's what they sold him as. Um, but definitely you can, I believe, I'm going to believe that the spray has a lot of effect. I think that, let's see here. That is a good leaf to look at right there. That right there has white algae. Not white algae, but the algae that has turned white because of the spray. Uh, but uh, we will continue to monitor. So that is the second week to the day. So 14 days. Okay. All right, we'll keep monitoring. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Peace. All right, guys, so this is week three of the um, algae test. Getting rid of algae using hydrogen peroxide. So here's our control sample here where we did nothing to it. And lo and behold, here is our treated. You remember we treated two bunches of plants? That's our first bunch there, which looks like they're... I mean, if there's a slit, slight hint of algae, there may be, but look at that. It actually, actually, I'm going to say 
it works. There is not, I mean, here, here it was really caked with algae, if y'all remember right. But, and these leaves were super caked, but you see the transformation from this to this actually worked using the hydrogen peroxide. So if your algae looks like this, uh, I would I would give it a thumbs up in in doing uh, the hydrogen peroxide. Um, I'm starting another one with the Anubius plant. The Anubius it it, it used to look like uh, used to look really green like that, and this is about the fifth day. It's about a week, and it's starting to uh, it turned red. It didn't turn orange, but it's it's starting the the algae starting to fall off. So. I say success on that. It didn't uh, kill any fish or anything, so that's always good. Um, I've got some new new uh, hornwort here that I'm going to plant today. Uh, say hi to to Flare there, my uh, veil tail multicolored purple red um, blue beta, and uh, my powder blue grommy there. So. And, uh, oh, go shrimp right up the front and in the back right there. Creepy looking, cool looking things. But, uh, all right, so successful uh, experiment in getting rid of really black caked on algae. Of course, like we said, the right way would really be to um, not have it in the first place by lowering the light duration um, and um, doing proper water changes water flow that kind of thing but if you're at that stage where I'm at because you left the lights on too long all day all the time um, then sometimes we have to use drastic measures cool so that was a very uh, successful experiment on getting rid of black and dark green um, hair algae uh, so if you like this video, give me a like. If you've got comments below, leave me comments. I know it's controversial. I'll probably get some crazy um, comments about this one too. But, uh, you know, we tried different things in the aquarium hobby, um, trying to do what's best for us, what's best for the fish, of course. But um, let me know. Leave me a comment. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, hit that bell notification. And uh, happy fish keeping. Peace.